<laughs> so welcome everyone. We're just about to start the warm up for a lovely session that Imogen has invented. Well, I don't know if she's invented it, but we're just going to claim that. Did you invent it, Imogen? A bit painful. That sound is going to really annoy me. Da, da, da. Wait, I can do this. I can put headphones in. Bear with me. <laughs> we'll just get a nice long warm up in while she's gone. So this is this is going to yeah, work. I'm going to put headphones is, uh, in on my phone. Our first time. Really oh, I think I've done it. Few technicalities. Right. So we are going to be doing a turbo session very shortly, um, but just bear with us whilst we sort out the technical technicals. Do you want to tell everyone about today's session, Imogen? Yeah, go on. I'll, I'll introduce the session. So today we're doing one of my favourite sessions. Um, it is a kind of sweet spot for it, I suppose. So we're going to start off uh, with a 10 minute warm up, just progressive. So I usually start at, at about half of my FTP, 50% FTP, and then kind of build it up from there. So that's going to be 10 minutes. And then after the 10 minute warm up, we are going to head into two 12 minute blocks. And the 12 minute blocks are going to be. The one minute easy is still kind of hard. Uh, and then we are going to take 10 minutes break in between each 12 minute set and then do your 10 minute warm down. So it's kind of, yeah, it's not a super hard session. It's just a nice one to make you strong in your sweet spot. And I suppose sometimes sweet spot efforts can be so boring because sometimes it's just you know, 10 minute blocks, 20 minute blocks, whereas this kind of breaks it up a bit, so it's a bit more fun. And yeah, I mean, the turbo is never that exciting, so that's why I like this session a bit more, I suppose. Are we all sorry on the technical front, or what's happening? Say again. I said, are, are we all sorted on the technical front? I think we are, or? so. <laughs> Okay. I think we are. I now have many screens in front of me. <laughs> yeah, so we can start our warm up now, I suppose. Just 10 minutes working up through your zone. So starting relatively easy, still be able to talk and then build it up to break your sweat towards the end. But nice. Yeah. So just want to talk a little bit more about images talking there about kind of FTP and that sort of thing but I know that some of you maybe don't use a power meter and you don't maybe know your FTP so what I would say is FTP is kind of your hour effort so 90% of your FTP you're talking at about maybe a 7 or 8 out of 10 would you say that's right perceived effort and then yeah, yeah. I think FTP, like, it's meant to be like your hour effort, and then, like, there's different tests you can do to get it. So, if you do, like, your 20 minute test, uh, you can get 95% of that to be your FTP. Um, but, yeah, I guess when you're working on heart rate, it's kind of a bit more mm. objective. Like, a lot of things can affect your heart rate. So, if you're just doing this on heart rate, I would say to push your heart rate to a different zone, I just say to work off your perceived effort, it's probably better. So like your one minute on should be eight and a half out of ten, and then your one minute okay. recovery should be about seven out of ten. Yeah, because I was just trying to, to explain to everyone kind of in a way. rate of perceived exertion, because I mean, I used to have a power meter and <laughs> know all those things, but... I think at the minute, particularly because I'm not racing anymore, 
um, or not racing seriously anymore, I, um, yeah. I tend to work better off rate of perceived exertion just because I don't really know what my heart rate or numbers should do at the minute. <laughs> okay, yeah. so how many minutes are you into your warm up at the minute, Imogen, so I can sync my watch? I've just realised I haven't started my hot news, so <laughs> sorry now. <laughs> no, I've probably got about five minutes, but uh, I think we can we can keep keep spinning until people are ready or until you're ready. Neither one of us have a fan, and so prepare to see a lot of sweat. Would you plug it in to send it to the door? No, that's not it. Okie dokie. So if you have any questions for Imogen or, our, or I. Um, oh, someone said so much echo. Bollocks. Right. Bear with me. So if you're watching on YouTube, watching on Instagram, let us know where you're from, whether you're going to be joining along with us for the session today. Is that And how's that quarantine life going, you know? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Is this better now? Someone has said there was so much echo, but I hope that this has kind of mm. solved it a bit. The problem I is, hope. is that... Oh, wait. Maybe I can mute it on... Is that better? Let me know if it's better now. I think I might have... Yeah, someone let us know below, please. Okay, hey, teething problems. First time. Yeah, first so this time. is the first time that I've actually streamed with a glamorous assistant. Well, you're not really my assistant. My glamorous guest, I would. <sighs> Which I, I do believe that it should be all working now. So, Okay, so a couple of people giving us a thumbs up. I think that means it's working. <laughs> All right, so if you've got any questions for myself or Imogen, I mean, most likely they're going to be for Imogen. Although I'm disappearing out of the second unit. Okay, so let's just presume that we've done five minutes I don't know I've not really been <laughs> looking how long are we going to stay till we start Imogen five so we'll start in five minutes I'm going to start a timer now okay. lovely okay that's better <laughs> oh my god I, think I was just hearing, hearing sound was from everywhere I was so confused <laughs> so Someone says high 10 second power output. That is uh, what not is very your good. 10 second I'm not very good. I'm useless. I'm not <laughs> I, can't, I, I know my high is one second because I was dead impressed with myself for it, but I don't know my top 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. If you, there are currently quite a few people tuned in on Instagram, quite a few people on the old YouTube. Let us know where you're from. We're currently about four minutes left on the warm-up before we start that tasty session that Imogen's lined up for us. <laughs> Do you practice everyday Swift or training indoor bike? Yeah, I'm on Swift every day at the moment. <laughs> you just love Swift me. though, don't you? It's pretty boring right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, so what... I mean, how are you motivating yourself to keep training at the minute, Imogen? Yeah, I suppose like... I actually really like training, so it's kind of not difficult to motivate myself as such. Um, but I guess it's weird when I start thinking about, you know, races and things like that. 
I won't be racing for so long. It's kind of, then you start to think, oh, what am I doing? Like, what am I actually training for? So I've been doing some races on Zwift to keep myself up a bit, you know, focused, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's not so easy. Okay, got a few questions coming in. What kinds of bikes are you using? Oh, the best, Godzilla JQ. Imogen, do you want to take that one first? Well, I had a Fifteenie, an NK one K, and I love this bike. This bike is my baby. So <laughs> it is very pretty. It's like glittery. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm on the. What are you on? I'm on the Canyon. Oh, thanks for asking. I'm on the Canyon CF SL Ultimate. It's very nice. It is the women's specific geometry. It is bright cherry red and it looks pretty great. <laughs> yeah, it is very nice. Okay, so we've got a few people on the comments from YouTube. Gabor says, hello from Hungary. We've got Dolly Damasus giving us some waves. <laughs> Honestly, I struggle so hard with the usernames. Like, there's so many, there's so many hard usernames out there. Oh. So, some. <laughs> okay, when are we gonna start? Okay, so I have got on me stopwatch. About. I've got I've I've got three minutes and forty three seconds. So. Are we going at five minutes? Go at five, we'll go at five. Okay. Keep it even. I'll tell you when to lap it. We have got one minute until we start the first block. So just to run, run you through, if you've just joined us, we're just finishing the last minute of the warm-up. What we're going to do is two sets of 12 minutes. They're going to be split up by a 10-minute recovery. And each set comprises of one minute at 90% of FTP and then followed by one minute at 75% FTP and so on for the whole 12 minutes. So this is not quite as spicy a session as we had last week, but that being said, it will catch up with you. This is great for time trialists, trying to improve your functional threshold power, or just a good all round fitness builder, I would say. Right, we are getting ready to go in 15 seconds. So getting the gear, getting the right gear. <laughs> okay, we are going in five seconds. This isn't an all-out sprint, remember? 95% left to be. Okay, here we go, 12 minutes. Oh my god, the, the sweat is already starting. Honestly, every time I think it's going to be better and it's just, it's just not. <laughs> Ooh. So, we got about 25 seconds left for this first minute. And then we get to go slightly easier for the second minute. Okay, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and we've got our second lap, second minute, this is going to be at that 75%. So it's important to like keep your cadence a bit higher here, because Otherwise, when you start in the next one, you'll just go like, your legs will just get dead if you're starting from a really low gear or from a really low cadence. So, just try and keep your legs going. That's not aimed at you, Kira, just to use your body. <laughs> Come on, Kira, up your cadence. <laughs> Ooh. I'm your personal coach. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, don't you do a bit of coaching, Imogen? Yeah, I do. I studied uh, sport 
sports science in university, so... All right, we're going to the next now. effort. Sorry to interrupt. Um, okay, next minute. Yeah, I... <laughs> no rest for the wicked. So, yeah, I do a bit of coaching now. And, uh, yeah, it's something I really enjoy doing. I used to do a lot of coaching for running, but actually I love coaching for cycling. I find it really, yeah, I love working with athletes and pushing them to their limits. I like that. Have you got any funny stories? <laughs> from coaching um, from my coaching days well I don't have funny stories I've got like really good stories from like coaching groups of people who can like run 100 metres down to 10k's that was amazing like that was like a really cool thing to do I love working with people from like a base level and bringing them up to achieve okay, something like that. Okay, back to 75%. Oh, <laughs> another minute. <laughs> You'll find as you go throughout this 12 minutes that that 75%, although it is easier, it starts feeling not that much easier. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, got a question from Gabor on YouTube. If I don't know my FTP, what should I do from one to ten? So Imogen said a bit earlier, you want to be going about seven and a half, eight out of ten for one minute, and then six out of ten effort for the next minute, and we're alternating. I say about eight and a half. For the on part and then seven for the off. Okay, so eight and a you half. You never really like fully. Okay, back to eight and a half out of ten. Okay, we're back to our. Honestly, all these power numbers after a long day, I just they just go over my head. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to lose track of is how many one minutes we've done. Yeah, I think it's our third, I hope. Yes, I think so. My armpits definitely think so. Okay, 15 seconds left on this one. And then we're going back to a seven out of 10 perceived effort or 75% FTP. Okay, and we're back okay. to the seven out of 10. Oh my God. It's quite uncomfortable this one actually. Makes you super strong for racing. Oh, it's definitely. kind of work out. So. Someone says here, would you prefer just to build a session on Zwift and use erg mode? So that's what I would usually do. I just have so many things running on my computer. Well, I've actually only got Skype, but I just don't think I can do it. Yeah. So I'm just going off my parameter now. Yeah, it does get a bit complex when you've got streaming software and Skype and Instagram lives and everything like that. Plus trying to read everything and not make it all mess up. Ooh. Okay, next minute. Okay, going again. Ooh. Back up to eight and a half. That's it. Hey, Blonnie. I think my cousin is... <laughs> Honestly, your cousin has given me this awful session. It's starting to bite now. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch this from the beginning, we start off no shine, and then at the end, <laughs> it's shiny everywhere. <laughs> okay, 15 seconds of this left, and then we're going back down.
Okay, I'm back to seven out of ten. Okay. Ooh. Oh so how many more of the eight and a half out of ten effort do we have left? Let me think. We got two two one minute efforts left. Say again. I think. We have two one minute efforts yes. left. Noise. I did think that was right, but I'd lost count. <laughs> That's the problem when you're also doing the session and instructing the session. Sometimes the brain goes a bit fuzzy. Okay, 15 more seconds in this one. And then we've got the last two minutes. Okay, next one, next minute. There's a lot less talking towards the end of the 12 minutes. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> My legs are so sore because this morning I went on Zwift and I what I wanted to do some climbing, but without like I don't know if you know, but you can set your trainer difficulty yeah to a hundred percent. So I did that and uh, I did some climbing. last minute. I just felt like I was constantly like oh how are we up? I felt like I was constantly just pushing so many watts. So my legs are really sore this evening. Oh yeah. Well, you're putting in more miles on the turbo than most people, I reckon. <laughs> oh, the sweat is real. And we're coming up to the last 30 seconds of this 12 minute block. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. 10 minutes recovery. Oh, and I need it as well. So a few people asking what power are we riding at? We're riding at 12 minute blocks, alternating between one minute at 90% of your FTP and one minute at 75% of your FTP. FTP is your hour power. I don't know what my hour power is these days. <laughs> but I am riding at my perceived effort of about, what should we say, eight and a half out of ten and then seven yeah. out of ten. If you go yeah, to perceived yeah. effort. Oh. I don't know if people can hear me that clearly, but... Yeah. I can hear you fine on Instagram. Um, oh, okay. Maybe it's YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, please let me know if you can hear Imogen. <laughs> but fingers crossed you can. <laughs> Oh god, so that's the first first round done. First round done. Did you have any um questions come in, Imogen, off your Instagram? Oh I don't know if I can see I can see what you asked when I'm on here live. Ah. But I mean I usually get a lot of um a lot of questions about my indoor training mm. setup. Like that seems to be a really big one these days, probably because everybody's like trapped indoors. So 
I am writing, usually I'm writing on a Wahoo picker. Um, at the moment I'm back in Ireland, so I don't have my Wahoo with me. I'm on a tax, which is like not as nice. So that's been like difficult to get used to because the power goes up and down a lot on the tax, whereas on a Wahoo it's quite steady. And yeah, I'm on a tax just because that's what my dad has at home. Someone just asked now, would you usually do this session on a turbo or on the road? So for me, I suppose, because I like to do more specific sessions on my turbo. So I would be doing this on the turbo usually. But yeah, yeah, a lot of people yeah, do I mean, on the road. Yeah, I mean, for me, I really, I mean, at the minute, yeah, I, mean, me, I like doing my structured session on the turbo just because I feel like I get a lot more out myself. But back when I was training full time, I often used to do a lot of my longer efforts on the turbo. And then if I had shorter efforts, I would do them out on the road. I have, I'm quite lucky where I live. I can go and ride on quite flat roads or I've got good climbing. But with the longer efforts, because there's no climbs longer than kind of five, six minutes where I live, I found that actually I often got a more consistent effort out particularly if I was doing a longer block like this, I'd always do it on the turbo. <laughs> you end up yeah, kind yeah. of liking it though after a while. It's quite weird. <laughs> yeah. I love my trip. Someone says, can you tell us what you've got you into cycling? You want to go first? Oh, okay. So I'm from a cycling family. I am a fourth generation cyclist. Would you believe my mum and dad both raced? My grandfather raced and my great-grandfather raced bikes. So you could say it was in the blood maybe. <laughs> but I, I've always been a competitive person ever since I was younger. I loved sport. And then when I found the bike, it was also that mixture of being able to compete but also to escape and ride off to my friend's house. And, you know, where I live, I'm quite remote. So the only way I could get anywhere was to cycle. So that's how I got started. <laughs> How about oh you? Oh my god, I can relate so much. <laughs> I was the same, like, I live in the middle of nowhere, and a lot of it was like, that was my only way to get to, I, I was a runner, so it was my only way to get to training, was to cycling. And so, that was how I started getting everywhere. I would just cycle everywhere, because I just didn't want to be asking for it all the time, I suppose. Hmm. So then I, I was running, and then when I started taking cycling more seriously was when I did a talent transfer program. So, so um, I was running for different people who were good at one sport to kind of transfer over to another. So that's when I started taking cycling a bit more seriously after I tried out for that. Lovely, that was a good question, that was. <laughs> Let's see, I'm sure there were more questions Lovely. about indoor setup actually. Um, How many days of recovery do you guys put between harder efforts? That's a good one. You take that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it depends on what kind of week I'm having, but usually one day really easy. If I've done like a really hard thing, like a Zwift race, I'll try to have one day afterwards. My coach usually just gives me one day where I'm just like spinning my pedals, no pressure or anything. And uh, I always feel a lot better after that as well. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it's so important to anymore. make sure you are getting rest, enough rest between your hard efforts. Often my hardest day I try and put yeah. after an easy day or after a little bit of recovery just so that you can get the most out of your most important session. Yeah. Getting lots of thumbs up. Thumbs up back to you. <laughs> okay, lovely. I've not even been looking at the clock, honestly. We've got about three minutes to go until we start the next 12 minute block oh yeah lovely 
just as the salt is starting to dry, <laughs> we go again. <laughs> How much time indicated flexibility and stuff for a bike? Hmm. None? <laughs> well, honestly, when I was riding a lot more, I'd say in the off season, I used to do maybe once or twice a week. But when I was, once I was racing, I very rarely had the willpower <laughs> or desire to fit it around yeah. racing. I'd say at the minute I'm trying to up the amount of strength and conditioning I'm doing purely from a lifestyle perspective I think it's better to be a bit stronger and since we're all stuck indoors I figured well might as well try and become a bit stronger as well yeah. I have a I mean like I've had very good intentions I suppose since lockdown I enjoy trying to do like, you know, if there's a yoga challenge or something like that, I'll try and do something, but I find it hard to motivate myself to do it just alone, I don't know. Yeah. Well, Imogen, so. I've got something for you. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. So today, well, this morning, I actually filmed a follow-along indoor core training workout, which will be going up on my YouTube channel. For you to follow along at your heart's desire. <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, man, it's a, I'm it was so it. hard. <laughs> I, I mean, I've, I've come from a massive <laughs> cardio background, so strength training, it's always hard. And I think when you see all these like kind of fitness models on Instagram, it looks so easy and glamorous almost, but it is a lot of pain. <laughs> It's yes, it's hard. really hard for everyone, and I think my uh, mine won't be. Oh wow, look how impressive I am at this! It'll be come and struggle along with me. <laughs> okay, so we're going in about forty seconds for the next twelve-minute block. Great. I'm just trying to see if we've missed any questions. Probably. Best training for weight loss, Imogen. Oh, uh, I'm going to count yeah. in very shortly, but go ahead. <laughs> A lot of it is like low intensity, like if you're doing like zone two, that's good for weight loss. Like, um, Going in five seconds for the first minute. <laughs> Okay. So you do like longer. You have a longer amount of time. First minute. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, for call on time, it's good to um to do high intensity like interval training. So like have six stations of different exercises and spend twenty seconds on each with ten seconds rest between. That's really good for like burning fat in short amounts of time. Really effective as well. I find as well that often with burning fat, it really depends at what stage you're at in terms of talking about losing weight, losing fat. Because if you are of a bigger build, then potentially high intensity isn't the best place to start. Okay, second minute yeah. coming up. Okay, seven out of ten now. So potentially you want to start with the lower intensity and just gradually build yeah. into the high intensity stuff. Because if you're quite overweight, it's going to really put a lot of pressure on your joints and that sort of thing. Mm. And you've got to have a fitness regime that's sustainable. Oh, it's hard to talk and do this. <laughs> yeah I agree it's kind of all about finding something that works for you so yeah depending on what you think you're capable of okay we're going for the next minute in five seconds 
three, two, one. Back up to eight and a half out of 10. So if you do have any more questions, keep them coming in. We will most likely answer them after this set of efforts, <laughs> but we'll get to them at the end. So do drop us a question. Someone said missing the road. Yeah, right now I am. <laughs> because I'm sweating so much. Oh, this is kind of fun though. <laughs> Okay, 10 more seconds of this. Okay, I'm back down to 7 out of 10. Ooh. I'm starting to feel my heart now. <laughs> okay, we've got 20 seconds left on this. And then we're going back up to eight and a half out of 10 effort. Getting into it now. Okay, we're going in five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Okay, back up to that 95% of FTP. If you got sore legs like Wish imaging, this would be really right hurting you. <laughs> but we love the pain in a weird sort of way. It actually is really helpful to have like people watching and comments coming in because it keeps you motivated. A hundred percent. I mean, I always say it's like I'm motivating you, motivating me. <laughs> yeah. Twenty seconds more on this. Someone's asking how many watts you move. Oh, I'm not that. I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just trying to get it over 200 for me at the minute. <laughs> okay, back down to seven out of ten. Another minute at this. Whew. And I believe after this one, we've got four more. Do we? Four? Oh my god. Is it four? How can we do? Huh? I'm really bad at keeping track of how many we've done. <laughs> I think it's four left. I think we have well. three more efforts left. Oh, I've lost count now. Okay. Let's go through three. Next effort. Here we go. Ooh. Someone's asking us questions in Spanish. How's your Spanish? Entiendo lo que digo. How did this session looks skinny already? <laughs> Quite long. Newly finished the hard part. Newly. Okay, ten more seconds on this then. Oh. 
Someone said to your right, IT looks a bit tight here. Oh yeah, so tight. <laughs> I've been trying to do the, um, so there's like this a thousand rep gym challenge at the minute. I attempted to do it and only managed 500. And now my glute is so tight from doing many squat jumps. So yeah, I'll have to get on the foam roller. <laughs> So is it two more one minutes now? Yeah. Right, okay. Two more one minute. Okay. Last 15 seconds of this. Oh. Oh. Okay. Four, three, two, one. So this is the last minute at 95% of your FTP. That's not, we've got one more after this. Have we? Oh. Yeah, we've got this one, then an easy one, and then a hard one. Oh, I, when you and said two, I thought you meant two minutes. Oh no, sorry Kira. Oh. You gotta keep going. I had lied, I'm sorry, I take it back. This is not your last 95%. <laughs> I, I told you my brain goes a bit fuzzy during this. I'm glad you're with it. Oh. Any recommendations? I don't even know where to start. Um, oof. I have a really cool bike from a brand called Velocity. And it's made out of Next lap. Recycled Nespresso pack. This is seven out of ten. It's really nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. My heart rate's not really coming down much now. Nearly done. Ooh. seconds left on this one minute. Then one minute hard, then one minute easy, yes. and then done. Good, I've got, well, warm down. I'm glad you're paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna put me out of a job, Imogen. Okay, so one minute hard. Well, not hard. I lied. 95% of FTP. Still quite hard, especially after the efforts we've done already. Yeah, you feel it's starting to build up with this. Oh, session. 100%. That's why it makes it harder. At the start, it's okay, and then it just builds up, and then. Someone says how many sessions? I mean, I would train probably six days a week, sometimes seven. Um, and maybe three of my workouts would be intervals. Coming up to the last minute now. Two, one. Okay, one minute left. Seven out of 10 effort. Like my heart rate just stops coming down now. <laughs> <laughs> Last 30 seconds. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 15 seconds. <sighs> Well done to anybody who joined in and did the session with us because 
Okay, and we're warm. done. Ten minute warm down. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh. There. I am dripping. Yeah. So am I. Oh. oh my god. So yeah, just to echo what Imogen said. Solid effort if you joined in with that. Oh, if you joined in with us for that. Apologies for my absolutely abhorrent timekeeping. But hopefully if you've got a light computer, you knew better than me. But my problem was is I lapped it. Yeah, we may get up even here My problem was I, I lapped it every time and then I was like trying to count. You know, like in the Matrix when it's all the numbers. And, like, it was like that, and then oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh my God, that was that was hard. Med G one, you did just come in at the end. I am so sorry, but don't worry. We are doing a or Imogen. Well, I mean, you might join next week, but I do, I do a live stream. Turbo every Wednesday and Imogen also does her own Instagram lives and Zwift racing and all sorts so if you don't follow her well I try to do Instagram lives but I'm as technologically advanced as Kira like I, I seem to be unable to work a laptop so <laughs> honestly I don't know if I'm quite pulling it off either but it's, it's all about the, the, the giving it a go <laughs> I'll have to give you some tips, Imogen. Up your live stream game. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I've got a few few messages coming in on YouTube. Thank you, ladies. It was a good one. That was great. Thanks very much for leading it. Makes it indoors a lot easier. Little emoji with a tear sweat thing. <laughs> and a couple of you on the old Instagram. We're going to be hanging around for another eight minutes of warm down so this is your last chance to ask Imogen or I a any of those burning questions you have <laughs> so someone on YouTube says is it wrong that I'm sitting and eating crisps watching you Imogen I'll let you take that <laughs> <laughs> no I don't think it is but what I would suggest is maybe come back on a Wednesday evening in the future and join in at least once to burn off those crisps <laughs> and I think this will be this live will be kept on our uh, on our Instagram for 24 hours so Head over to either of our Instagrams and you'll be... Or actually, it's on I can, Instagram. Maybe I can send it to you. Can do the work. I don't know if it's possible to send it to you. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like three million tiny 10-second stories. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to Kira's story. It's easier. Yes, definitely. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this will just be up and about. And you can watch it anytime you want. You can also go back and watch any of the previous Wednesday live turbo sessions. But I have to say, I think this might have been the best one. I don't know. Comment. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> maybe, not our, uh, maybe not the difficulties at the start, but once we oh, got yeah. it sorted, it was okay. So I've got a question on Instagram. Do you have any tips for starting out? Oh, one sec. I've lost the question. Starting out when you've just got a bike and Strava. Hmm. Well, I mean, at the moment, it's difficult to answer that because are you like locked down? Are you able to train? Stuff like that. But I think if you're able to get out on the road, if you're in a country where that's allowed, like there's so much you can do with just the bike and speed, all of the fancy power meter, heart rate. You don't need all of that stuff to improve. You can just enjoy it if you're beginning like just get used to riding the skills of riding a bike try and find a group to ride with you don't need all the bells and whistles it's my opinion no definitely not i think the biggest thing for anyone starting out in anything is to just give it a go you know learn from your mistakes yeah. 
and uh, you know just try and keep the fun in it because often you know you'll look back on those times when you were a beginner and you start something as kind of really nice and you know it's nice to look back and go oh how silly was it wasn't it silly when we did that wasn't it daft when we did that ridiculously long ride or when we did way too many efforts and then had to have a week off and eat 10 ben and jerry's to recover you know that like those are the fun times to look back on <laughs> so i've got a question on youtube i've just started getting out on my bike more but i do need a better bike how much should i spend on something half decent I mean, it's, it's a tough question to answer, purely because I don't know what bike you're on at the minute. Um, and it, it depends, you know, how do you define better bike? It's, it's quite subjective, I think. I mean, if you're talking about a road bike, yeah. you, you're sort of the lower end, you can probably pick up a half decent bike, kind of a, around a grand, maybe even less these days. I, I don't really... Yeah, I don't really know, but there's some amazing hybrids that you can pick up and they'd, they'd be a lot cheaper. And so, you know, it's, it's a tough one to define, you know, what's a better bike. It really depends what type of riding you kind of aspire to do. I think as well, if you're just starting, like it's not a bad thing to buy like a second hand bike to just make sure that you really like it before you invest in like a high-end bike. I preach that so much, but I really believe that you don't need to spend loads of money if you're just starting. No, That's no my definitely opinion. not. You've got to make sure that it's something that you're gonna you know, enjoy for a longer amount of time, because it is a big investment in yourself, obviously, but also yeah. You know, especially if you don't have loads of money spare at the end of the month, I can understand that a, a road bike is particularly can get so expensive just like that. Um, so Dom says, I only have a crap mountain bike. Well, then that is pretty much crap mountain bike. Anywhere you go from there is up, I'd say, pretty much. <laughs> So I would say a good start is like a hybrid, so something with skinnier tyres. That's going to make a huge difference when you go out on the road because there'll be a lot less resistance. And then, you know, if, you, if it's something you maybe enjoy a bit more, then you can maybe start to look into your road bikes and that sort of thing. But I think a really good hybrid is a great place to start. I don't know what you think, Imogen, on that. Well... Yeah, no, I, I would agree with you on that. Just, I was just looking at a, a message that came in here that says, help an Italian guy in quarantine with no possibility to use his bike. Like, I, I'm not sure if he doesn't have a trainer, a turbo trainer or something, but I mean, in Italy, that you are quite limited. I suppose you can't go for a walk or anything, but there's great, like, um, I don't know if you use the Sufferfest app, but... It's a really good app that has like yoga workouts and that kind of thing on there. And you can do like high intensity workouts as well. And um, body weight, you can find them on YouTube. So just stay safe and get creative with what you can yeah, do. Yeah, I saw this amazing um, video on YouTube and it was basically um, the, the guy had gotten two Wahoo turbo trainers and was using them to um, to using them as weights. <laughs> I mean, it's not quite cycling training, but it amused me for that brief 10 seconds. <laughs> Someone said, what are you two ride cell six? And I love it. Well, I rode a tarmac last year and I loved it. It was really good. This year, I'm riding a Cipollini and I, I thought nothing could top my bike from last year but I am obsessed with the bike it's so smooth it's like it's an Italian super bike is how they describe it and I, when I'm riding it outdoors it's crazy I've heard so fast. often actually Imogen maybe you can enlighten me on this that the Cipollinis are really quite stiff and potentially maybe a little uncomfortable would you how do you find the comfort of it and the stiffness I actually 
actually, I'm really bad at being able to tell if I can stick or not. <laughs> but it feels like super comfortable to me. I have like, a, I have a different saddle on and everything, so I guess it did take some getting used to, but okay, no, I absolutely love it. That's not the right answer. <laughs> I am on the <laughs> Kenny Ultimate CFSL. It's their kind of all round, solid, comfort, more comfort road bike, endurance road bike. More of their climbing kind of frame. Um, obviously their aero bikes, the air road. Um, so the Ultimate's kind of designed to be a bit lighter, a bit more comfortable for longer distance and leisure riding, I suppose. But if you like a racier bike, the air road is the one. Maybe uh, if Kenny are watching this, they can hook me up. <laughs> so, oh. so, yeah, that is my uh, <laughs> my uh, fiance's little brother. Just let you know. <laughs> I I I can't do that many stunts. And also, if I showed you, I'd I'd probably have to kill you. So. <laughs> Can you do I mean, money? not whilst connected to the turbo, but I reckon I can. The turbo. <laughs> I reckon I just pull out all of the back See, of my rear neck. <laughs> <laughs> I would think you have so much skill because you started out riding fixies. Like, so in my head, I feel like you can do everything. Well, you know, I mean, I'm not going to underplay the skill, but I would say a lot of it is kind of just brute idiocy. And just kind of full commitment um and you know i've been riding a bike a long time so i've picked up a few few tricks of the trade as it were but i mean you see some of the some of the people these days you know wheeling backwards down mountains and flipping off stuff into other stuff i'm not that person but yeah fixed gear crit i can handle but that's about my limit Okay, so we've actually done 12 minutes of warm down. How good are we? Oh, we are dedicated. <laughs> that extra two minutes. Then. Yeah, so we'll st hang around for another couple of minutes because we've got a few more questions. Yeah. Um, oh, Instagram says I've got 25 seconds remaining. That's quite intense. So I guess we're going to have to end it. Do you want anything to add, Imogen? No, but thanks for joining, guys, and, uh, yeah, well done if you did it. <laughs> so, yeah, same as Imogen. Thank you so much for watching. I've got seven seconds left, so I've got to get it in, but keep risking it for risk it. This will be every Wednesday. Bye. Okay, we're still live on YouTube. So Bye. I am going to stop the YouTube stream. Blah, blah, blah. Well, be sure to turn. leave oh. a like on this video. Oh and subscribe for more cycling content thank you very much imogen for joining and yeah see you in the Thanks next very video much, imogen, for joining.